Hi, my name is Dana. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do, for example, this game. It's called the memory game. So, for example, you open this, it says one. And then you choose another one that has to match that number. So one, I think this one is one. If it matches, you keep them. If, for example, I pick this one and it doesn't match, I close them. And then you keep playing until, for example, you match all, oops, sorry, you can go back, all of them. And I already know these because I did them, but sometimes you can forget them, so that's like something. Okay, just like that, this and this, this and this, and then you can just reset it all. So, to do this, I will open a blank presentation. And then you will right click the slide and press layout blank. Then you will choose any, you will go to insert shapes, you will choose any shape that you like, square, circle, triangle, um, star, heart, anything. But for now, I'm just gonna be simple and pick a square. And you can, okay, so you do the square. So I'm just gonna write here, seven centimeters, and then enter, and it will turn into this. And on the bottom, seven centimeters, enter. So this is actually kind of too big. How about if I do this? Will it, okay, we need it bigger. So this, uh, 151 and one, point 51 so this is the side that i want and i'm gonna put it here now i'm gonna choose the color of it which for me i'm gonna choose blue then you're gonna select it so press anywhere select it hold control and then d so now you duplicated it so you're just gonna put it here and you can do like a lot and a lot of squares but for, for this example, I'm just going to show you six squares. D, and then put it on the bottom. And then control D. Oops, sorry. I'm going to put it right here. Control D, and right here. And now that we have these, we're going to type. So for example, you can put, you can, what do you want to match? Numbers or letters? If you want to put, for example, Q and Q or any letter together or numbers. So here, I'm just going to do letter letters. For example, I'm going to do Q, but just, okay, we're going to put the font, and we're going to make the font bigger, and we're going to put Q. And for example, the other Q, I want it to be like, here okay and cute now we have to make it bigger just like this one this one's 32 so now we're gonna have to do 32 here too and then the other key and then here for example a but first let's make it bigger yeah a and then for example um, another a next okay another a on top of it for example D and, oops, sorry, to make it bigger, okay, 32, and here, for example, D, and then here, D, but first I have to make it bigger, so yeah, after you write all of the letters, you are going to do insert in shapes, you're going to do the same shape, so this one, and then you're going to make it the same exact size, okay? Just like that. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, and you can check here if it's the same size. The other ones were 151, 151. These are 151, 151. And I'm going to have them be purple. And then I'm going to go to shape effects. And I'm going to do preset, and I'm going to put on the second one. So it's kind of cool, and then control D to duplicate it, and the second one, just cover all of the other ones, just like that, oops, I don't know why it keeps going there, but on um, yeah, okay, 
okay so as you can see after you did this you have to do it again uh, you have to write this time numbers because inside we wrote letters so I'm just gonna write one okay it cannot show because it's in purple I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna make it white one oh it's still one oh oh maybe yes now it shows one Sorry if my if my voice is low. I'm gonna try to make it higher. So after we did this, we need to. So we just have this, and if we press on any one of them, it will just end the show because there are no more slides. That's what we don't want. So we're gonna select this one. Oh no no no! First we're gonna go to select selection pane and then you're gonna press okay rectangle three which one is it is it the bottom one or here let's see rectangle three is this one so now we know we start with the ones on the bottom so rectangle three is actually let's say the back ones are back we're gonna name the back one because it's the back and then that's the first one and then back two because this is the second one and then back three and back four back five and back Then the next one are the purple ones, so front, because they're in the front. Front one. Front two. Front three. Front four. Sorry for the background noises, these are my brothers. But um, yeah, front six. They're just putting music. Okay, so now that we did that, we're going to go and select the first uh, purple box. And then we are going to go to animations. We're going to put disappear. And then we're going to go to trigger and then on the click of back one. So that means that it's, this is going to disappear when you click. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's why I had to change it. You have to put trigger on the click of no, not back one, but front one. So what that means is when you click on this front one, it will disappear. But right now it won't go back. But you need to do that to all the purple boxes, which are the fronts. So here's the second one. You do again. Go down. Disappear. Trigger on the click of front two. And then you go to the third one. Add animation. Okay, actually from here it's easier. Disappear. Trigger on the click of back. No, not back three. Front three. 
just gonna do that to all of them. So yeah, disappear. So after you're done, just like this, you can match them. So for example, Q and then, oh, that's okay. That's incorrect. But for example, right now we can do this. But we still, if we press the, on them to let them go back, we cannot. It will end the show. Sorry for the background noises again, because th those are my small brothers. But anyways, now we are going to be uh, doing clicking on them again. But this time we're gonna do oh we're gonna do add animation. If you do it from here, the other animation is gonna go. So we're gonna do add animation appear. Okay. So we're gonna do appear and then trigger on the click of that one. This one. Add animation appear trigger on the click of back two and then here three uh, again add animation appear trigger on the click of back three and then four okay four add animation appear trigger on the click of back four and then five just you just do that to all appear trigger on the click of back five so when we press on the back five which is under this it will this will come back that's what we're that's basically what we're doing so yeah appear and trigger on the click of back six <laughs> sorry sorry i put it on back five no on the click of back six now we do this press on this it can do that so for example these are not the same so we put them back so for example I want this D and D now okay A and A yes D and D yes and Q and Q well the part of the memory in it is when there there are like a lot of them so wait let me show you you can go back if you simply press on the background which you don't want to do so uh, so the memory game, why is it called memory? Because when there are a lot of squares, so for example, I do Q and A, but they're wrong, so I put them back. And then I find, for example, A and, uh, so for example, Q and then A, but then I remember the A. Where was the other A? I saw another A, and then I remember it was here. And then the Q, there, uh, there was also another Q here. And then these are the left, so that's the part of the memory, but we're still not done here. So now that that is solved, you can do as much as of them as you want. But for me, um, I'm just going to do this for an example for you guys. And now you are going to put on insert shapes and click on any shape you would like. So let's choose a shape that I've not chosen from before, or like any different shape. Well, I'm just going to do a heart. All of the snow hearts, but yeah. Right here, I'm going to make it big and nice. Now, we want it to be purple, just like the color of this. Or actually, I'm going to do it something else. I like blue, so I'm just going to keep it blue. Like the under, like the buttons under the back one okay and then you're gonna press on it and we're gonna make the size like for example this okay and then you're gonna write <laughs> excuse me you're gonna write reset and then you are going to select all of these so how do you do that? You're gonna say, you hold control on your computer and you press on this, press on this, press on this, 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 and this. 
and then what you do is go to animations and then you're going to do add animation up here trigger on the click of the heart so now when you do this you can do anything wrong this 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 when you're done you can just simply reset it just press anywhere on this heart it doesn't have to even be on this so like i'm just going to show you again i'm just going to do all of them and then press so it's like wait just like for example a here's the another a, a here's the other a q q d d and then you press reset and all of them come back and this was our game today you can do as much as you want so um hope you succeeded and did it correctly like i did and show it to your friends. Don't be like shy when you show it to them just because it's simple. No, that's okay. It's actually a pretty good game. And bye. Hope you enjoyed how to create a memory game in PowerPoint.